Good morning and welcome to my channel YouTube Pain Free Partha. Today we are going to see a video of Taylor's approach of spinal anesthesia. So this is actually approaching the Alpha S1 interspace which is largest, which is going to come, to come in the video. I want to just add certain points in this. We can use this technique when there is a problem in skin or eczema or lesions in L2-3 or L1-L2 levels or usually I use little excess volume for example 2.8 ml for cesarean sections and 4 ml for hysterectomies and I feel this is my personal opinion the hemodynamic fluctuations are less we can do in sitting also we can do in lateral position also the stylus approach come on let's go to this video the other approach for spinal anesthesia is the Taylor's approach wherein we access the largest uh, interspinal space that is the L5 S1. In patients where there is ankylosing spondylitis or they are not able to bend or when a lot of degeneration is there where you don't have much of space in these areas or where there is instrumentation and you cannot get in, we use, we access the largest space. How this is done is first this is the sacrum and you have the iliac bone over here you identify the posterior superior iliac spine okay, by palpation that is also called the dimple of venus once you see the dimple of venus you go one centimeter below and one centimeter medial that should be a point of entry so from the point of entry what you need to do is keep one hand to see where your rough uh, uh, the trajectory okay so your needle should be coming towards this so what are the two components which you need to do one is you need to go cephalate and the other one you need to do is medial. So, from the point of entry, you go cephalo medial and then you enter. Sometimes you might hit the sacrum. So, come back and give what else do you need now? You need a bit more cephalo angle and you need to go like this and you'll enter into the space. Sometimes what can happen is you might be a bit too lateral. You might go hit the facet joint or you might hit even this. So, you need to go a bit more medial. So, this hand, this finger will give you a good idea as to how your trajectory is going to be and this is the Taylor's approach thank you Take a photo. 